That's a classic sound. I love that sound so much. It's so satisfying. We still have loco sounds as well, so that's fantastic. Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man. Welcome aboard train 142 for the final part of the run to Keddy. The line is clear all the way, and you are clear to, clear to proceed when ready. We are back on the Feather River Canyon, completing... Oh dear. There we go. Completing the final part of the Keddy Consignment Series. We are indeed. Let's get those headlights on. Alright, we should have the road. We do indeed. Let's get ourselves into forward. There we go. We need to notch up here. There is a lot of uphill to be dealing with. So there we go. Right, let's get that sand. Alright, the sand is on. Lovely stuff. Rev that engine. No, don't go into neutral. Rev that engine up. And brakes off. I said brakes off. There we go. Come on, train. Make it up this hill. Make it up this hill indeed. You can do it. And it's not too steep a gradient. But it is a gradient nonetheless. Come on, train. You can do it. You can do it. I need to get underway here. Come on. That's it. That's it. Not chate it. Let's just, let's just power our way up here. Come on. That's it. We're inching forward. We're inching forward. There we go. Western Pacific once again. Look at that. Very nice indeed. So yes, this is the final run across. I've, I've done two part. I've done the two first scenarios where we've gone all the, so far all the way from Oroville to Belden, I believe. But today we're going all the way to Keddy, and of course that means we should be crossing the famous Keddy Y. It does indeed. Right, we're underway. There we go. Now, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. No, this isn't the California Zephyr. However, I do plan to do a video on that soon. I just wanted to complete the Keddy Consignment series first. I felt that important. I didn't want to have two separate Feather River Canyon series going. So we'll do one thing at a time. One thing at a time indeed. So we'll get to Keddy. And then we shall focus on the California Zephyr another day. But there we go indeed. There we go indeed. Right, we're underway. Speed limit's 20 miles an hour. We could probably drop the the sander now. Now that we're on our way. Look at that beautiful train. Look at that beautiful train indeed. Lovely stuff. Right, now I can't see Naffle because they decided to build that bit there, as I always say. Let's get the window open. It seems to be... It's, in the real world, it's a very warm, muggy day. So I'm going to be opening all the windows. Be a bit noisy. Well, not maybe not these ones. We'll leave those ones shut because we don't want it too noisy in here. Speeding already. Speeding already. There we go. Knew it was going to happen. Lovely stuff. Now get the brakes back off again. We're going uphill. Get the brakes up. Minus nine. Lovely. I was too busy sorting the windows out. Damn it. I was too busy indeed. All right. Let's find a notch of power that keeps us accelerating. Well, not accelerating, but... Going up the hill. Going up the hill indeed. This should take another hour, this scenario. So that's going to be fun. So I think the first one was just over an hour. Like six... Like just just over an hour. The other one was quite a bit over an hour. And this is another hour. It takes a long time to traverse this route. It does indeed. But it's a scenic route. So it's very nice to look around and see the scenery, of course. Um, it's a bit cloudy. It's, it's overcast weather. So it's not for exactly very sunny at the moment. But there we go indeed. There we go, indeed. But yes, U30B. Oh, what's, is, what's that? Is that the dead? Is that the dead man's pedal? I just—I was looking down. Obviously, I don't have any legs. But is that the dead man's pedal? Is that what that is? You got to keep your foot on that, and if your foot comes off of it, it goes grinding to a halt. That's—that's that's essentially the thing there. It's essentially the thing, indeed. I think that's right. I think that be a th right. I think I think that's what that is. There's nothing else on the floor, and I know train. I know these trains have them. Like I know American trains have them. Um, so there we go indeed. Look at this. Just a slow crawl up the Feather River Canyon today, just for the final part. Gotta get this we gotta get this freight up to Keddy. It was um the uh, technically it was scheduled to arrive several months ago, but it's taken me this long to do the series. So there we go. I um yeah. I don't want it's such a long route and it takes over an hour each time I couldn't sit here and play all of the Feather of a Canyon at once. Not unless there was some sort of real special reason to. Um, so, yeah, because it would take literally forever. Uh, I mean, you're talking well over, you know, three hours in one sitting. So I like to I like to sort of keep it all... I need to power up here. We're going up a steeper gradient. I like to sort of spice things up a bit and try and change it all around, you know. So I've been playing varying different things and, things and bobs in between, obviously. So there we go. But we are, we are completing it today. We're completing it today indeed. We're finally going to Keddy Y. 
We're fine. Well, Ked or Keddy, but the Keddy Wise, the bridge, it is indeed. But I think that's what it's called anyway. It sounds right, Keddy Why? There we go. Greens, that's always good. I would say we've got a high ball, but that's the only ball. So there we go. There we go. See, look at that. That is just just a quick just a quick snap there. I think a quick snap is required because seeing that is pretty cool. I will admit those those pylons seem a little too British, but you know, maybe that maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a standard design. I'm not one to say. I've never been here in the 1970s before. I think it's set in the 70s. Western Pacific and all that, because today it's Union Pacific, isn't it? It is indeed. Is this set in the 70s or the 80s? I think it's the 70s. I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. I can't remember. But I will. Uh, but the Western Pacific livery is a very nice livery. It is indeed. Just that, that. 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 Look at that. That tiger stripe. That tiger stripe, though. You know. However, when it comes to stripes, you cannot beat the wasp stripes on like stuff like a on, on a you know on a Gronk on an 08. That's just the best thing. The best thing indeed. Right, here we go. Oh, windscreen. Oh. I can manually play with the windscreen wipers. I'm going to leave that alone now. Let's put that over there before I start scratching the windscreen because it's not raining. <laughs> it's not raining at all. It's, that's what you should get. You should be able to do this in here. Squeak, 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 squeak. Because that's what it would do because this is just completely dry. So there we go. There we go indeed. Right, if you have a look at our tasks for today, so we've got to go. Oh, Twain. Is that Twain? I don't know. As long as our train isn't cleft in twain. <laughs> oh, right, okay, we've got Paxton. Where is this place? There it is, Paxton. Keddy South and Keddy Lower Track 1 in so 20 miles. So there we go. It's not too bad, actually. Not too bad indeed. Right, we are approaching the speed limit, as it is well known. It is well known. I've already lost nine points. I don't plan to lose many more. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't, plan to, I wouldn't plan to speed, but it happens. So, you know, it happens indeed. And I cannot, I cannot explain to you what it's like to talk and drive. You have to experience it for yourself. It's a nightmare. So there we go. It's just, it's just you can't do both. You can't, you cannot do both. I, what I'll do one day, I won't do it for a video as long as this, but for a shorter video, I'll play the scenario, and then I'll do another video where I play it without record it. Well, no, not without talking. I mean, so um, you can see the difference in my driving quality, because there is a difference in my driving quality. There, there seriously is. So I think that would be interesting to see. So I'll do that one day. Just to prove to you guys that I can actually drive a train. <laughs> Just to prove to you indeed. So there we go. Uh, look at this. I love this rockery. It's, it's, it's very Semmering Barnes sort of rockery. It's a similar, similar sort of vein of you know style. And I love that. I just love it. It just looks so you know blasted apart. So there's space for the railway. Or, you know, or like something's, like, you know, like, I suppose the river, for example, was ripped through here and sort of carved a hole or something. I have no idea. The river's all the way down there now. Hello, little river. There's a school bus. There we go. Look at that. We don't have normal, we don't have, um, like, dedicated school buses over here in the UK. Because as you saw over there, I don't know if we'll see any more, uh, there was a school bus. A nice truck there. Very nice. American truck simulator for the win. I need to do another video on that. I loved that. That was a good experience. Uh, but you you saw the yellow bus on that road, and it was a dedic it's dedicated school bus. We don't have those in the UK. They just go to they, it's like you get the local bus company, and they just go right. Let's just pick that one, that one, and that one. Stick them on the school run, and it's just it's a nightmare. So that's what, that's the only word for it. It's a nightmare. So there we go, indeed. Um, yes, the the school bus runs. There's uh, some memories there, both good and quite bad as well. I remember once the entire the we it was a year it was our year group in school. We all got called into an assembly and we all got told off. It wasn't me. I was you know I was the quiet one who sat in the corner of the bus listening to his music. I didn't I didn't talk to anyone or mess about at all. Um, so there we go. I wasn't I wasn't that sort of person. But when um but we did all sort of get as the British would put it, a bollocking, for um, rocking about so much on the top floor of the bus, because it's double-decker buses, um, that we nearly tipped a bus over. I say, I say we as in the year group. I was not participating in that. You know, if I, if I had the confidence, I would have said, we stop doing that, you're going to knock the bus over. And it, in, they nearly knocked the bus over. What else did our year group get accused for? Uh, peeling off the rubber seal of the front window on the bus. So if we braked really hard or accelerated really quickly, the front windscreen would have fallen off or upstairs. That would have been bad. That would have been bad indeed. <laughs> there we go. There we go. School bus runs. Never, ever fun. Um, never fun at all. I will 
I aim now to never ever get on one again because it's just not fun. I'd never need to, obviously. No, no, I say obviously, you wouldn't know that, but no, I don't need to anymore. And I never plan to again. So there we go, indeed. <laughs> there we go, indeed. Yeah, school buses. Bad, bad things. Right, okie dokie. Let's just, there we go. That was the, that was the bus story. That was the bus story. Hope you enjoyed the bus story. Uh, I'm here all week. I'm telling all stories, all sorts of stories. I've no idea. I'm just trying to think. I, I need to think of other stories that I can tell. I mean, obviously, in, you know, when I drive British routes, or in particular, sort of, you know, Kentish routes or, or London Brighton routes, I've got stories to tell, you know, but I don't with this because I've never been to America. I've never been to North America. I've never been to the 1970s either, quite. So there we go. Um... I don't have I don't have stories for this route. I do not have stories at all, quite obviously. Um, but you know, and also I can't talk about my previous. I'm going to speed in a minute. I can't talk about my previous experiences on driving this route because it was so long ago. I can't remember what happened. <laughs> I'm sure you all can. Uh, I'm sure you. Will. It's very it's very odd because you know a lot of um, you know the, the you know the fan. I don't like calling you guys fans. You're just you know you're you're my people. You're awesome. I love you all. But fans is such a you know, such a cliche term. I don't like it very much. But um, you see, like you know, sort of Star Wars fans, for example, they'll they'll go up to the actors and say this, blah blah blah. What's this T65, blah blah blah. And the actors won't know because to them it's a job. Uh, this isn't a job for me. This isn't a job at all. But it's uh, it's di it's that it's that relation it's that similar relationship. You could tell me something in the video. I'd be like, <laughs> did I say that? I have no idea. I have that absolutely no idea. So I, yeah, I don't know of any stories for this route because my memory is like a sieve. Like a sieve, indeed. Like I forgot my own birthday special, uh, and in the in the Network Southeast special, I forgot I drove the one two one as part of the Mega Gala. I, I'm just I'm just terrible, absolutely terrible. So there we go, indeed. It's power back up. Yeah, I'm just I'm just terrible at <laughs> remembering things. It's just bad. It's just bad. That's a whistle board. Does that mean I'm gonna have to do it as well? It might be. Let's have a look. Well, let's have a look. I can't see anything. Let's pop. Let's pop let's, let's just there. Yeah, let's just. Ah, there's a little crossing coming up. We'll 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 do we'll do our banter for that. We'll do our banter indeed. Right, here we go. Let's run this corner here. Blow the first horn. Lovely stuff. Blow the second horn. And the short. And across the crossing. And across the line. There we go. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, shall we? There we go. Just noticed. Look at this. Mile post 264. That's a long route. That's a long route. I wouldn't want to drive for 264 miles at this speed for too long. Oh, that would be... That would be a dull. Cause that's the thing. You know, you're driving this in the real world, it's, a, you know, it, again, it's a job. You know, to us, it's a hobby and it's fun. To, to the guys in here, you must have a real passion for trains because this... You know, I've done this over several months. You would have to do all of this in one sitting whilst waiting for other trains to pass and, you know, it's... It's having to do that. That I, I have a lot of respect uh, for train drivers, especially as well as like you know, so just say for example, you know, I'm I'm late to a stop. You know, I I know I have you know I have the respect for the drivers, like what they'd have to deal with with rowdy passengers at certain times of day. It would be oh, I wouldn't want to have to deal with it. You know, open window if <laughs> or just not even just open window, just you know, just they come knocking up and say, oh, why are we waiting here for so? I don't want to. You know, that's just. That's just not fun. Well, I say that. It's part of the job. So, you know, the drivers have to deal with it. But you must have a real passion for what you do to be able to put up with that. You must do indeed. This looks amazing. Hang on. With the, with, the, with, the, with everything going on here, that just looks, um, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. Right, 766. And 757. There we go. The Boeing number. Lovely stuff. One of the best Boeing aircraft ever. That's 757. Single single airliner with two humongous engines on the side of it that are so overpowered, it's amazing. It's so sad that um, British Airways stopped flying them. It's so sad indeed. Don't see. I didn't. I used to love watching them flying to Heathrow. Good times, man. Good times indeed. But no. But no. They got rid of theirs. They got rid of those indeed. But no, the 757s. Beautiful Boeings. They really are indeed. I, I love them. I love them. So there we go. There we go. Thanks for t that, that was the that was the Boeing story. Thanks, train. Thanks for making me tell that story. Why is the cab light on when there's nobody in there? I have no idea. Somebody left the light on again. 
tutting, tutting, tutting. Right, okie dokie. 6.1 miles, something, no, 6 point, yeah, six, it was 6.1 miles. I was right the first time, don't correct myself until... Is that Virgil Virgilia? Virgi is that Virgilia? Virgil... Li Virgilia. Virgilia. That's, that's, that must be right. Come on. Please tell me it's Virgilia. That's what it's. That's 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 how, that's how it's spelt. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. I, I need a disclaimer. I need a disclaimer to start my videos. If I'm driving outside of anywhere around the London area, I'm going to offend your place names. That's what I need. But I'm not going to do that because that's too long a disclaimer. I'm just gonna. I'll just say it. I'll just say sorry afterwards. <laughs> there we go, indeed. Right. There we go. We currently just gone through Rich Bar. I can say Rich Bar. That's easy. Rich Bar. I don't see where you can go wrong there. Uh, not, unless, not unless, of course, it's Ricker Bar. But I highly doubt it's that. I highly doubt it's that. So there we go. I'm, not, I'm also not going to attempt to do an American accent because that's just that's just that's the that's the worst offence anyone can do on the internet, isn't it? Of just just trying to do a different accent. That's just that's 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 just instant. That's just instant suffering on my part there. Well, not instant. We're <laughs> instant as the video <laughs> release is sort of suffering. There we go. There we go, indeed. Yeah, there is no quicker way to learning that you've mispronounced this, mispronounced something than by putting it on the internet. That is just very true. That is just very true. There we go. Another mile post. There's another mile post. 266. There we go. That's a lot of miles. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing that. Look at that. That's pretty. Let's power down a little bit. A little bit, indeed. See, look at this. This is, I can't wait to drive the California Zephyr. I can't wait to sit in, in the, you know, sort of like in the, what is it, the, I can't, is it the dome bit or the upper, upper bit? I can't remember where you sit on there. I can't wait to just sit in a passenger view and watch this scenery go past. I'm going to seriously start speeding in a minute. Just watching this from a passenger perspective must be absolutely amazing. Because isn't it true, I, I, know, I don't know much about the California Zephyr at all, that, um, you'd have so I've got to try and word this probably now so it'd do the boring bits of the route you know boring in quotes sort of like the flat sections at night but it'd travel stuff like the Feather River Canyon during the day is that true? I, that might be true I've no idea I have absolutely no idea but if it is yay me yay me indeed look at that nice nurse tree why get in the way no idea I love that that's just I just I, I, li I like that just on the other there's, there's just action happening on both sides and I don't, I don't even have to worry about driving that action over there. Not today, anyway. Not today. Uh, SCS Software peoples build this road in American Truck Simulator. I want to see. I want to be that side of the road. There we go. There's the bus. Uh, county bus district. There we go. I want to be. I want to drive this route from the other side of the canyon. That would be amazing. <laughs> As, you know, as, yeah, American Truck Simulator, where you drive on the other side. I'm assuming that road's still here. I think it's set in the 70s. That road might not even be there anymore. If it is, do that thing. Recreate it. How cool would that be? You drive along something in Train Simulator, and then you drive along it the other side in, um, in Truck Simulator. It's the same as when you come to a level crossing in Truck Simulator. I always sort of think, what route is that? Because that could be really cool. You know, I could, like, pull into it. I could, like, drive over the level crossing in one... Like in one simulator, and then go over the crossing in another simulator. That's that's just that's just one of the things I wish I could do. There needs to be a just a just simulator, all of it. That's what there needs to be in life. A simulator where you just you can do anything. It's you know this is just like you know this is this is video games of the far far future, isn't it? Where it's a photorealistic world, right down to the you know right down to the tiny little details and the bricks of every single house in the I'm kidding of course but uh, you'd never get that much detail in, in anything I don't think it would take someone most of their life just to try and reference it all but if you imagine like, you know, a world and you can do whatever you want you know you can go and um, you know so you you know you live in your house and stuff like that you catch a train and you but you could because obviously in the real world you do live in your house but you gotta you gotta do stuff you, you know you gotta you gotta hoover. You, you gotta you do, do all the boring stuff, you know, like shopping. Well, wouldn't it be cool in life if you had a game that let you, you know, live in your house, but then just sort of go? Actually, no. I'm gonna go to the local train station and just, just, just take over the train. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? And then when you get to a certain place, you can go. Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and fly a plane now. So then you just, you know, 
you um, call, call a taxi or something, and you get yourself to the airport, and you just start flying a plane. That'd be cool. That's my ideal game. Just the everything. The everything game or simulator. There we go. I think that, I think that would be the future of simulators. But that would be so much work involved, there is no way anything like that would happen. At all. In the near future. I doubt I'll ever live to see a game like that. But if I did, I would, I would be very happy. Imagine that, because that would change stuff like Let's Plays forever. It really would. You'd, you know, everybody could do it. And it can be completely different. You know, because obviously I can... Like, you know, in different simulators, even in Eurotruck or, you know, American Truck Simulator, I could choose to drive wherever I wanted to throughout the continent or the, you know, the state. But, um, you know, you're confined to a truck. Imagine a world where you're not confined by anything. Every single th person that did a Let's Play on a game like that would be completely different. Same as everybody's lives are different. And that, to me, would be so cool. Never going to happen though, so I'm, I'm going to stop. Well, ne don't ever stop dreaming. Don't ever stop. What's the point in life if you don't dream about things, you know? It's, it's, it's just have, uh, have dreams. They won't all come true. Not unless you make them. There you go. Getting deep now. Getting deep indeed. Oh dear. Drink of water. It is so warm. It's we've, uh, It's been scattered storms over the UK recently. <laughs> London flooded slightly, so that was awkward. But it's so warm and there's not been much storminess around my way. And it's this, you can tell it in the air. It's so stuffy and horrible. I need a huge thunderstorm, but not now. Not whilst I'm recording. I'm looking, I'm literally looking out my window right now. Do not, do not thunderstorm. I'm not going to speed, am I? No. Do not thunderstorm or I will. Because I'll have to turn my computer off so it doesn't explode. <laughs> and that's not good for a video. That's not good for a video at all. So there we go. There we go indeed. Right. How close am I to Virgilia? 3.22 3 miles. Okay. Well, because I want to get some points, but we've been t we've been driving for so long and I haven't even got any points yet. Where is it? Over there. There we go. I've been driving for a good amount of time and we haven't got a sync. We've just lost points so far. But the speed is actually going pretty well. It's going pretty well indeed. There we go. I say that. It's because I'm, I'm keeping it below 25. That might end up being a bad thing in the future. I don't know. But, you know, I'd like to think that I can just... It's, it's quite... I've, you know, this very nice 1% gradient, this. The throttles keep it just where it needs to be. And that's how I like it. So there we go. Right. Yeah, that's in three miles. How far's Keddy? Keddy's literally... Why didn't you just dig a tunnel straight to Keddy from here, at least here? It's just a, it's a straight line, but no, straight line, but no, weavy, 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 all around the canyon. There we go. It won't be long, I reckon. Every route like this will have a tunnel. Much like was it the Gothard Base Tunnel, if that's how you say it, in Switzerland? They've literally carved out a 35-mile-long tunnel to bypass the scenic route. And I think that's going to be the future. R railways that have been built like this. I know it's happened elsewhere before. But, you know, many railways in the future. I reckon they'll be built to the same level of, you know, modernisation, I suppose. Where you just beeline it straight through for the, for, the, for the bulk traffic. But you still keep the classic lines. So there we go. There we go indeed. Alright, I'm going to start speeding in a minute. Let's be careful of that. So my ETA is 9.08. And it expects me to be there at 9.05. Okay, okay. I don't see how it's going to take me eight minutes to travel two and a half miles. And then I say that I have no idea. I can't, I'm not that. I'm not not very good at judging distance and all that jazz and speed. Not on the fly anyway. But um, I have no idea. I'd like to think we're going to be there before 9:05. I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Probably not. I've probably kept it under 25 for too long now, and now we're going to be late, and this is going to be the worst score. Ever. Well. I don't think this could be the worst score I ever get. I've already done that. I'd have to do something seriously wrong to do a worse score than I've done recently. <laughs> I'd have to indeed. I would have to indeed. Right, here we go. 25.4 miles an hour. Holding it well. 1,000 RPM. It's accelerating slowly. Accelerating slowly indeed. Time's ticking down. I don't want to be three minutes late. That would... That would drop the score into the you are doomed section. That would indeed. That would indeed. I'm not stopping anywhere, am I? I think so. 
These are just, yeah, these will go via so I don't have to stop anywhere. That's nice. That's nice indeed. I don't have to stop anywhere. It's just not... It's, Stopping and waiting for trains is not a thing I want to do today. No, I I have the track. I suppose I would have the track because I'm going uphill. And you don't want to keep on doing hill starts. Hill starts downhill. Piece of cake. You just take the brakes off and you're away. Completely different story if you're going uphill. It is indeed. Alright. Look at this. Is there no train waiting for us around here? I don't think so. That's a shame. That's a shame indeed. There we go. I'd like to see some AI action, but it's... A single line route, it's a bit sparse, I suppose, even in the real world, so, you know, you wouldn't pass a train at every single loop, I don't think. Maybe you would, maybe you would, maybe in the busier times, but, I don't know, maybe this isn't the busier times, I have no idea. So there we go. All the times bringing back nicely, look, 07 and 31 seconds. Keeping it above 25 seems to be the ticket, it seems to be the ticket indeed, so we shall do that. We shall do that! We haven't got far to go either, actually. We've got two, less than two minutes to go one and a half miles. Okay. Okay, come on. I need to just, just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. I'd like to at least get there at six, you know, oh six if I can. If I get there around a minute, I won't lose too much score. So, Train, if, you, if, you're, if you're listening to me, if you're listening to me, please, please, by the love of all this magic and train stuff, get there. In time. That's that's just all we need. That's just all we need, indeed. So there we go. Right. Oh wow! Three loops now. Three tracks. Look at this. This is this is intense action right here. Imagine. Yeah. This is just cool. Why is there, Why is there three tracks? You got a part because it's a single track line with a passing loop. Is it a double passing loop? And now I'm speeding. Lovely. All right. Losing even more score. Power down, you stupid train. There we go. There we go, indeed. Now the minus 15. Right. I said that. <laughs> I said that exactly the same way I said it in one of my networks. Out there. That's because I edited it and it stuck in my head. That's why. There's a crossing here! Why didn't you tell me? I have no idea. There we go. Lovely stuff. Get that bell back off. Bell off! Bell gone off? Yes. There we go. There's Virgilia. Just outside of a tunnel, by the looks of things. This is a, that, that was a this is a long passing loop. Maybe that's a locomotive one. I've no idea. Maybe it's maybe it's for the Zephyr. Maybe it's so the Zephyr can pull over. I don't know, I, I don't know if the Zephyr would pull over. I, on this route, what what takes priority, passenger or freight? Because I know that in the UK at least, freight pulls aside for passenger. But I do know in other countries that passenger pulls aside for freight. Freight is a lot more you know a lot more dominant on a lot of railways. So, what is it in this case? I mean, the California Zephyr, I, I assume, would be the premier train of the day. So, would it would it have priority, or would it have to bypass for train for other freight trains or for, for freight trains? Um, I'd assume it'd have priority over other passenger trains, unless, of course, it was the only passenger train. I'm speeding again. Oh, that's because the gradient's gone down. I see the issue here. I'm going uphill. I don't want to use brakes. So I've just got it. There we go. Right, another minus 28. Yes. There we go. So our, our, our final score now looks like it could be a maximum of. I'm already late. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. There is definitely, yeah, definitely not keeping it to the to the line at 25 has caused massive problems. So that's fun. That's fun indeed. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna be late. There we go. I'm gonna be late. This is gonna be. A, um, a not so. I've, this has been. I've been too. I've been too talkative and story based to care about the score today. I'm in it. I'm not in it for the score. But I'm happy if I get the score. I'm never expecting to get a thousand points when recording using my voice. I don't ever expect to get a thousand points. It's such a rarity. It's such a rarity indeed. So there we go. There we go. All right, approaching Virgilia. There we go. I, I've got a feeling that every time I say that, someone's gone to the comments and gone, No, it's not pronounced Virgilia, it's pronounced blah, blah. I know you I'm not saying you guys are like that. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not saying you guys are like that at all. I'm saying what the internet's like. And in general, I'm, I'm being stereotypical here, forgive me. I got a maximum points for that. I'll take it. I'll take it indeed. However, we're not going to get, we're, the maximum we can get now is 948. So that's fun. That's fun indeed. So there we go. 
We're going into a tunnel by the looks of things. Oh, not that I can see the tunnel, like I've mentioned. Building the... <laughs> Why would you build windows like this? You can see a naff all. You can see naff all indeed. Alright, here we go. Into the tunnel of doom! I say that so many times. The tunnel of doom. There's, there's, there's lots of doom. There's lots of doom indeed. Right, there we go. Looks like the rock face has started to make its way through. I'd fix that! Western Pacific, if you're listening, this looks dangerous! Oh, You'd lose some paint in there. That is actually terrifying. Look at that! That is... Like, there is no way that the regulations have let that fall through. There we go indeed. There we go indeed. I'll call... Actually, yeah, let's 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 call the Wasses face. And let's... um. Oh, there's a phone. Let's call what's his face. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you got a bit of a problem, mate. You need to sort the, the, the tunnel out at Virgilia. It's a bit knackered. Ta, thanks, bye. Lovely stuff. There we go. See, I can roleplay too. Right, okay, okay. Let's power back down. We're nearly at speeding. Go via Twain. I'm assuming it's Twain. I'm driving a choo choo Twain. To Twain. <laughs> there we go. What's that? Cleft in Twain and Choo Choo Twain. My Twain, Cleft in Twain, in Twain. Oh dear. Oh dear. This route is just too pun heavy. you got Poe Dameron, you've got Twain. It's just, oh no. Yes, I'm going to drive a Choo Choo Twain through Twain. Yay. I'm assuming it's Twain. It looks like it's spelled, it's spelled Twain. Twain. Because if you... See, the thing is, that is Twain, because if you took the W out and put an R, it's a train. You know, I don't see the difference here. It's just one letter swapping out. You know, same as, you know, if you took the A out, you'd have Twin and or, you know, Trin. You know, it's just, it's, you know, I, I've, I, okay, now I have no idea what I'm talking about. Words are a thing, and I'm terrible at foreign ones. So there we go, indeed. There we go, indeed. All right. Wheel slip. Hopefully, hopefully that light doesn't go up in, in flames. Saying you're wheel slipping, you're destroying the train. Grr. I don't want that. I don't destroy a train. Destroying trains isn't fun. You know, not intentionally. It's quite funny when it happens by an accident. In train simulator, don't, don't start flying to the comments for that one either. Ah, train simulator. If stuff happens, the physics are built so it's you know it goes a bit funny sometimes. <gasps> Base launch. So there we go. There's a track going for, going that way. Where's that track going? Right, we're going to go and investigate. Have fun driving yourself for a few minutes. Where do you go? Where do you go indeed? Huh. You just go there. Oh. Oh. Oh, is it locomotive sheds? Oh, it is indeed. Well, what's the point of a track that A doesn't line up into the shed and B doesn't go in the shed in the first place? What? What's what's the point in this? You store one loco, and you're not using the other half, and this one doesn't line up at all. Where's the Pacific? What are you on? I have no idea. I'm gonna, you're on you're on the speeding books if you're if I'm not careful. There we go. There we go. Indeed, Twain is in. I can't. I'm saying Twain a lot now. Twain, Twain, Twain. Uh, I'm saying it in a stupid way just because it's in my brain. <laughs> Twain is in my brain, and I can't stop. Right. There we go. So we've got to be there at. 09, 12 and 30 seconds and we're going to be there at 09, 13 and... F okay. Right, speed up. Come on, stay above that 25. Let's get a rolling. Rolling. Let's get a rolling. Right, here we go. Train a rolling around the bend. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. It's awesome. I've had people talk about the class lights and telling me to put the class lights on and stuff or whatever they're called. These ones here, I think they're class lights, aren't they? There's a slight problem with that. They're bound to my recording start and stop keys. So if I tried to turn them on, my recording would stop. So, never gonna happen. Not unless I change my key bindings. But if I do that, I'll forget how to start recording. And that would be a nightmare for us all. That would be a nightmare for us all indeed. I mean, I used to have it on the key next to the one key. I think it's the tilde key or something like that. But every time I used to go into the cab... Or nearly every, or a lot of the time. I used to accidentally hit it and stop recording. You probably remember that. But now I have to push three keys. I have to push Control, Alt, and 1 to start and stop recording. You know, get into the technical details now. But Control and 1 is class lights, I believe. So if I go Control, Alt, 1, it still counts. You know, or Control, 1, or Control, Alt, 1. It's just, it's, it's dodgy. It's a dodgy area. 
I don't want to go near it. I don't want to accident because, you know, muscle memory. I'll push Control alt one and I'll stop recording by accident. So, no class lights. I shall have no class whatsoever. Multiple meanings there. Let's move on. Right, okay. Twain. It's Twain. I hope it's a train at Twain. That'd be cool. That'd be cool indeed. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. But we can dream, can't we? We can dream indeed. So there we go. Less than half a mile away. Nearly late already. But we should get full score here. I'm not going to be that late. It's 30. And it's 27. 28. 29. 30. And I'm not that far away at all. So we should get a nice, nice lot of score in there. We should indeed. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Let's get the score. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's drive the train. Let's do the thing. Let's get the score. Let's get get this consignment all the way to Keddy. Let's do that thing indeed. There we go. We shall be triumphant on this day. We shall get our consignment to Keddy. There we go. I don't know what that was all about. I don't know what any of this is ever, ever about. I, it's just me doing a thing. And it, it's, it works sometimes. There we go. There we go indeed. We are there. Hello. Hello, Twain. There's no Twain here. I'm a Twain. Hey, it worked. And I got, I got full score. There we go indeed happy for getting full scores. So there we go. Paxton, 3.38 miles. That's the thing, the distances are so short. It just takes so long to get to each one. It's so long. It's the, it's the small victories though, isn't it? If it, if you started a scenario and you said you've got to go 20 miles at 25 miles an hour, you'd be like, what? But it's, it's the small victories. It's just, you know, reward every few miles and you'll get there and you'll feel good. You'll feel good indeed. Obviously, real drivers feel good by getting paid, but you know, there we go. I get, I get my score, and my score is all I need. There we go. There we go. I'm just, I need to power back up. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Look at that train. Very nice. Trackside view. Nice, nice. I'm not going to watch the whole train roll past. I learnt in part one that, that was a bad idea. I don't know if it's been patched at all or not, but I do know that if I watch the whole train go past, the locomotive sound stopped. I don't know where I could get them to start again was by turning the local off and on again on a gradient. That's a bad idea. It's a bad, 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 bad idea. But listen to that. That's a classic sound. I love that sound so much. It's so satisfying. We still have loco sounds as well, so that's fantastic. That sound, that... It's such a satisfying sound. I love it. It's fantastic. I love I just love track join sounds. Absolutely amazing. Continuous welded rail. Why you take that from me? There we go. Be careful of that speed. Careful of the speed, indeed. Look at this. Let's just take a moment here. Let's take a moment, folks. Let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that this looks amazing. There we go. Lovely. There we go, Western Pacific, Western Pacific, Feather River Route, Western Pacific, Western Pacific, Western Pacific, Feather River Route, Western Pacific. There we go. Don't know what that was all about. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Alright, 2.16 miles to Paxton. To Paxton, indeed. Is there a pun for Paxton? Probably. No one knows idea. Who knows? Going to Pax North? No, that's that's just that's just that's lit. no. Right, that's just that's just pushing it too hard. Right. Ah, let's leave Paxton alone, shall we? We'll just roll through there. Just, just, just you know, just leave the puns in the brain. Oh, they're not even in my brain. I've got nothing for Paxton. I don't think I've got anything for the rest of them actually. Keddy, you know, well, something for Keddy. Keddy, why? Keddy, why? <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. I shall shut up now. I won't shut up now. There we go. Good train. Look at that. That's very, very nice. I like that. I like that indeed. We're driving a train on it and it's awesome. There we go. That's fantastic. I love the experience of driving a train. It's just absolutely... F it's just... This is just a... Oh, I need to speed up. This is just... It's just a, you know, hauling this and just, just being in control of this. I just... I love it. I love doing this. It's fantastic. Best hobby I've ever done. Um, not that I've done many hobbies. I, what have I done hobby-wise? I, I don't know, really. 
video games have been pretty much the one. But Track One Train Simulator arrived in my life, and I just sort of, you know, and I could, you know, I bought it and I played it. I was like, oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs> I should, I should share this with the world, and indeed I did. And look now, we're um, many, many subscribers um, relative to whatever. Um, so just thank you very much for being here. If you're watching this very moment, watching this very moment indeed, I thank you very much. I, I, I do sincerely. From the bottom of my heart, which is there, gesturing, you can't see, uh, it's, it's, I thank you. So there we go. There we go indeed. Am I speeding back up? I don't want to be late for Paxton. Don't want to be late for Paxton at all. Come on. I'm speeding up slowly. Alright, let's not jate it. Let's just, let's just full power it. Let's just do it. Get that speed and let's just shove that, shove that speed straight up the rear end of the train and just propel it up the hill and do that thing and yeah yeah there we go right okay there's a 25 miles an hour 1.63 miles to go how far have we got to go till caddy oh only five and a half miles there we go not too far at all actually not too far at all it's going i think it's going well today a bit of bit of speeding errors as per the usual but I think, I think it's not going too badly. Not going too badly at all. What on earth is going on here? Wait, mate, stop nicking the trees! Why have you nicked all the trees, mate? I mean, like, you know... Usually... Why have you just nicked half the trees? Just go all out and nick all the trees, or don't nick any at all, you... Why have you nicked all the trees? Let's, let's just pretend we're this guy for a minute. Why have you nicked all the trees? I have no idea. Uh, maybe you got distracted by watching all the trains. That's fair play. That's fair play indeed. Right. There we go. Don't speed. Do not do the speeding on it. The speeding on it is a bad thing to do. Thank you for slowing back down. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's so warm. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, I, uh, I, it's, still, it's British weather, isn't it? It's always too cold. It's always too hot. It will be sunny and rainy and snowy and thundery all in the same day. I say that. It's not, but it, it might as well be. You know, the weather, typical British weather, it changes enough. It might as well all happen at once. So there we go. But it can literally go from sunny to just absolutely tipping it down in rain in, like, a click. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But it's Britain. That's, you know, that's what I like. That's what I like indeed. There we go. Power back up a little bit. There's Paxton. There's Paxton. Paxton, 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 Paxton. Let's do it. There we go. There we go, indeed. Lovely. Look at that. Very, I love. I just love the scenery in this. It's very. It's a very nice route. In terms of in terms of good-looking routes, I think up there. I mean, obviously you've got the Chatham Main Line. I love the Chatham Main Line. It is Chathamy after all. Um, so you've got the Chatham Main Line. But you've got, you know, Semmering Barn, Soldier Summit, Feather River Canyon, those routes up there, they're, you know, and um, Marseille d'Avignon, those routes are like, you know, the most recent ones, they're some of the best looking that, that DTG have ever made. They just look, you know, they just look, um, look they just look amazing. They, they seriously look amazing. There we go. The lighting would, if, if we actually had some lighting, obviously it's overcast at the moment, we've got naff all in the time of lighting, but if we had some proper lighting, this would look phenomenal, and I mean phenomenal it's just not you know it's the, it's the what, some of the best you know you're gonna get really it's not the best the best <laughs> is the is the thumper that's coming from geordie slash ap oh my god have you seen the cab screenshot on their facebook page it's like a photograph it's like a photograph if you don't know what a thumper is by the way it's a class 205 it's a demu and it's a it's a dmu that electric motors it's the, one of the best looking trains ever. It's the 4 EPB with a diesel engine in it, and it's amazing. And the AP are going to be publishing one, and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh my days, they're doing some amazing trains. <laughs> you got a 313, you got the Thumper, the Thumper. So badly need a Thumper in Train Simulator, and it's, co it's coming. Oh yes, expect when those come out. Oh my, expect videos, because... I just, I could drive it wherever I want. Like, you know, and it's because it's a diesel train. And it comes in networks, it'll, it'll probably come in networks southeast. 
I'd imagine it would, because they did run in Network Southeast. They did indeed. Um, there's no reason why they wouldn't. So, or if, if even for by some weird thing, I'm just you know, it didn't come in Network Southeast. I'm sure it would be in the future. But um, I just yes, just expect so many videos on those in the future. It'd be so good. I can't wait. They look amazing. They look amazing indeed. It's just like I mean, well, I say that they're amazing, but. I, I haven't driven, the, you know, the 321 or the 456 yet, mainly because uh, I can't get the scenarios to run. Even if I turn my game down to the lowest settings, there are so many AI, in particular on the South London network for the 456, the game just goes, nope, I, I can't do it on the lowest settings. I've, li I've dropped everything down to minimum and the game can't load. AP scenarios for the 456, and it's ridiculous. And um, Quick Drive, also on the South London network, isn't exactly the most stable thing in the world. So I haven't got around to driving that properly yet, but I would like to. I'd like to stick a, like a rake of like, Network Southeast 456 together and just drive them around for a little while. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be fun indeed. Ah, drink of water. It is literally boiling. Ugh. Oh, yeah, because oh, the computer's kicking out heat, monitor's kicking out heat, you know, light on, door shut, window shut, no fan on, because otherwise all you'd hear is... <laughs> so, it's, yeah, I'm boiling to death. I'm boiling to death indeed. I just realised the next thing is Keddy South Main. We're going to be crossing, we should be crossing the uh, the Keddy Y soon. We should be indeed. We're going to we're just going to watch the train into this tunnel here, and then pop to the other side of the tunnel. Hello! <laughs> Lovely stuff. Can you imagine if a train like this would go went past but vroom, like it was going really fast, but it's going really slowly. Alright, that's um, what we got, what we got? Let's watch our Oh look at that. There we go. Aerial view! There we go. Yeah, Kelly can't be that far away. It really it can't be that far away at all. Hello train. How are you? You all good? Lovely. I'm gonna start speeding in a minute. There we go. Western Pacific, Western Pacific. If you need to get the freight somewhere, go Western Pacific. I've no idea if they had any mottos. It probably, almost definitely, wasn't that one. So there we go. Look, look at that. Look at this cinematic action right here. Yay. That's what happens when the number eight camera is 20 miles. If I was driving 20 miles an hour, this would be synced up perfectly. But it's not, unfortunately. There we go. What you need is you need the camera to lock itself to the any point in the train you desire. That's what you need. Like a, like a dynamic number two camera, because obviously I can do this, and I can do this, but I can't sort of, you know, I, I don't have the freedom, I need, I want that freedom, I want the camera to go absolutely anywhere I want it, you know, so I have it focused on the train so it moves with the train, I have it so it's not just in the set positions of each coach, that would be a desirable thing, it would be indeed, so there we go, alright, 25.2, miles an hour, that's not too bad, how are we doing for Keddy time wise, okay, that's that's late. That is almost definitely late. Power cup. As you can tell by the the 0927 and the 0929. Hopefully that will change in the near future. Hopefully that will change indeed. We'll gather that back and we shall be all nice and awesome. We shall be indeed. The scores we can get. I think we're at the bronze level at the moment. If bronze is 500, I don't know what the score or the, what the you know what the reward system is like on this route. It's always it's always odd. You always get you know difficult scenarios and easy scenarios, but where the bronze is, it's always different. I find it's always different indeed. So there we go. I have no idea what if I'm going to get a medal at all or not. I don't care about the medals. The scores there just to just just for banter really. That's all it's there for indeed. It's all it's there for indeed. Right, but yeah, we can't be far away from the end now. We can't. No, look, we're only two and up. You know, just just over two miles away. We've nearly done the entire Feather River Canyon route. We have indeed. It's only taken a few months, but we've done it, and that is that is all that matters. I've got around to doing it, and then I've got to do it again for the California Zephyr. And I also want to drive the other train because there was a normal F7 that came with the, this as well, wasn't there? I believe there was. And I want to drive that as well. There's, there's a winter scenario for that, and it looks interesting. So I'll, I might do that NL future. I might indeed. But um, yes, next Feather River video I do will be the California Zephyr. Don't know when. 
don't know when, but I do I do want to drive it. I want I want that passenger experience on this route. I've done the freight, I want the passengers. I want them all to be on my train and be terrified as they see me step into the cab. I just I want that. It's just that's just, you know, that's just you know, that's just yeah. <laughs> that's just yeah. There we go. That's just yeah indeed. Alright, there's a twenty limit up there. That's not fun. Well it might be. It might be fun. Um, it might be fun indeed. I'm assuming that the Y is in between Keddy South and the next final destination. It must be around here somewhere. And I'm assuming it's not going to be the tunnels. Uh, have, uh, no, it's definitely not because it crosses. Ama it just looks amazing. It looks amazing. So there we go. Indeed. And there is a 20 limit up there. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully going uphill. In theory, I shouldn't need any brakes at all. I just power down and the train does the job. Whether that's going to happen or not, we're going to find out. We're going to find out indeed. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at it. Tunnel after tunnel after tunnel after tunnel. This is what you're looking for right here. Ah, there's a mini bridge. Look at that. Mini bridge banter. There we go. Watch the train go over the mini bridge. Ah, it's, it's just a little bridge, isn't it? I suppose that's... Uh, yeah, I suppose that would be the easier option than to try and fill in this terrain. It would indeed. There we go. And into the another tunnel. Into the another tunnel. Not another tunnel. The another tunnel. Right, okay. Let's power down. Let that train get to 20. And then we'll coast on that 20. I think I see the caddy. Why? I think I see the caddy. Why? There's caddy. Oh, yes. Is this caddy? I think this is caddy. Oh, yes. We're at caddy, ladies and gentlemen. We've arrived at caddy. Change here for banter and awesome viewage and stuff. We've driven so many miles to get to this point and I'm so glad to finally be here. This 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 bridge is absolutely amazing. Screenshots must be had. I I do not apologize whatsoever. Look at that right there. That is just, you know, that's just amazing indeed. There are so many good screenshot opportunities across the, across this bridge there are indeed. I won't take that many. Engine Navy pulling up to Kelly very soon. Be prepared to stop at Kelly Lower Track 1. I will indeed, but I do want that screenshot. I want that screenshot. I don't want trees in the way. I need to nail this screenshot for reasons of it just looks absolutely amazing. There we go. Keddy Y, ladies and gentlemen, looks absolutely fan. Look at that. Look at that. That is something special indeed. I reckon we could actually get a really interesting far away shot just before just before we head off here into into the end of the scenario. Something like that, I reckon. Bit more, bit more interesting. I've come up with a solution for the screenshots, by the way, that I mentioned previously. I have come up with a solution. There's another freight train over there. That red, that's 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 red, 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 advanced. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. PCS. I've no idea what PCS is. No, 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 no. Oh dear. We ran a red. We ran a red. It's never good. Oh dear. <laughs> Piss! Right, okay. We ran a red. <laughs> was never good. Stupid caddy, why? Right, now I need to reverse because I'm probably stopping the junction from changing. Brakes off, please. Off. There we go. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. This train is reversing. Well, it's not. Train! Reverse, please. Ah, oh, the brakes are still coming off. Come on, train. Reverse. Get back to this signal, please. Get back to this signal. Yeah, I shouldn't be here until 36. I've gone... I've I've done the bad. I've done the bad indeed. That is noisy. Whatever the hell that is. That is very noisy indeed. I think the brakes have just gone. Ah, what have you done to us? Those of you who want to tell me, inform me what the hell PCS is, please. I'm assuming it's protection... Um... I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Right, stop the train. Stop the train. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Not PCS was. I didn't even see anything. There's nothing track based, is it? That is noisy as all hell. Sounds like this train's just going. Oh, that's it. Oh, that is the advanced brakes PCS. Oh, that's right. PCS is emergency. Okay. I've got to use emergency because the train's not sodding stopping. Train, stop, 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 stop. Welcome back to Kenny Wiley, gentlemen. Right. Let's just... Hmm. 
Let's... Right. Let's recollect what just occurred. I knackered it. I was too busy looking at Kenny Y to even think that there would be a red light. If I'd looked at the ETA, I would have said, Oh, I'm not allowed in there yet. Oh, maybe I should stop. But no, I was too busy looking at the sodden bridge. Oh, never mind. Right, okay. Let's take a screenshot here. Let's, let's, let's just recover the moment with a nice epic screenshot of the train. It has to be done. Right, here we go. Can you lower track one? There we go. I want to pull. I'm not going to pull, but up to the signal, try and stop again. I don't. I don't want a PCS trip, whatever the hell that is again. But I think. All right, now I can go. Now I can go. Power up. Brakes off. Brakes off. And we go. 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 Come on. Come on. Go. Move. Brakes. Brakes. Look, they're on zero, but the brakes are still on. Train. Bra release. Release the brakes. Release. Release. What on earth is the train doing? Come on. I think I've broken the train. Pretty broken. What's PCS? Is something PCS open? Oh, okay. I've got to do something to close PCS, apparently. Uh-oh. Um, PC... Uh, right, hang on. Quick BRB! In the event of an emergency brake application, the locomotive pneumatic control switch... Ah, there we go! ...has been simulated and is indicated by both a pop-up message and elimination of the PCS open light in the cab. Once the PCS, PCS has been tripped, all locomotive engines will be returned to idle regardless of the throttle setting. Should the PCS not be tripped by a manual application, if the train pipe breaks, it's required by resetting the moving tile brake lever to the emergency position before removing it back to release. Okay. Right, so let's move that into... I can't actually move it! Come on! Where's the actual brake lever? There it is. I can't... There we go. And then move it back into release. Yes? No? Um, uh-oh. Uh, should the PCS has not been tripped by a manual application, if the train brake pipe breaks, it's required to remove... Re resetting by moving the tra oh, the train brake. That's that's a different thing, isn't it? That's... that's which, was, which, is, which is the train brake? Locomotive brake. No? Guys, I might fail this spectacularly because I was too busy looking at the bridge. The brakes are get stuck beyond 63%. Right, emergency. And release. No, release. Release. There we go. Uh, uh, right, this was only take effect once the brake pipe pressure has reached 0 psi. Brake pipe pressure. Brake pipe pressure. It's one of these, isn't it? 0 psi. It's one of these. Uh, Brake cylinder, zero, which is 60. Uh, the throttle lever, and it, ah, idle position. Right. Okay, PCS reset. There we go. Uh, that, was th that was the throttle problem. Right, throttle back up, throttle back up, throttle back up. Okay, I had to read the manual for that one. If you don't know anything about the trains, read the manual. That's all I suggest. No, don't go back, don't go back, don't go back, don't go back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I ain't got time to be moving backwards. I ain't got time to be moving backwards. I'm notch eight. Right, bit of brake. We need to come to a stop. We need to come to a stop. They're freaking out on release and apply at the same time. They are indeed. Um, okay, train. I need you to stop. St train. Train. Stop rolling backwards, please. The brakes aren't working. Uh, handbrake. Handbrake's doing nothing. Uh, okay, hang on. Can I use the handbrake on the freight cars? Can I? Can I? Come on, please tell me I can unstoppable this. Come on. I need to stop the train so it will start going forwards. Come on, come on. Hey, we're slowing down, we're slowing down, we're slowing down. Is that the sander sound? No, the train's just going... Okay. I might see if I can make that quieter. Hey, it's almost like it's not even making a sound. Right, we're going to take the handbrake slowly off. That's it. Once the train stops, you can use that notch 8 to pull it forward. There we go. Right. That's it. There we go. There we go. Right. All the all the handbrakes off. That's it. I think that's all them, all them off. Let's make a quick check. I'm going to be late now. Well, that was a little bit of a kerfuffle, wasn't it? That was a bit of a kerfuffle indeed. All right. PCS has been simulated apparently. Should have known that one. Right. Okay. Oh, I did. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> that's the problem. It's like this thing has failed. You need to fix it now. It's like I don't know what to do. 
I can't fix it. Um, okay, so yes, right. I don't. I, right now, the manual's open. I don't need that manual anymore. Right, that was a stressful experience. Let's. Uh, yeah, welcome to Keddy, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That was fun. Right, we're gonna stay around 15 miles an hour here. Nothing, nothing too outrageous. And we're gonna be late. Lovely. There's Keddy Lower Track One. Oh, I'm going to go to 20 miles an hour. Screw it, screw it, screw it. 20 miles an hour. I don't want to be late. Right. Let's close the manual. The manual. Lovely. Manual's closed. Let's never, let's, let's never drive the U30B again, shall we? No, bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Please tell me that's my signal. It's green and red. Thank you so very, very much, signaling system. I love it. There we go. Green. And the red. Why is it a green and red? I'm assuming that's my signal, right? It's not the one to the side. Better not be the one to the side. Or I'm going to have a really bad day. Oh, it's just green and red. Lovely. Right, okay. There's Kelly Lower Track 1. We're going to be late. But, you know, we have the enthusiasm. We're going to arrive. We're going to step off the train with a smile on our face and a skip in our step. We're going to say, yes, I knackered it. But I knackered it with pride. So there we go. There we go, indeed. I seriously knackered that one to the point where I was like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, that was a stressful experience. That was sort of like, quick, read the manual, read the manual, read it, find out. There we go. There we go. Right. Alright, so fun fact. Don't let that light light up. That's a bad light to have light up. It is indeed. That's a, that's a bad experience. Don't spat. Do not pass a signal at danger. Ever. I hope you're listening, West Coast Rail. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. And not not the subscriber name that I've I know so I'm pretty sure I've got a subscriber called West Coast Rail. Not talking about you. I'm talking about the, the, the train operating company who kept on just going past red lights. There we go. Right, here we go. Going past some very, very interesting looking um, freight here. Obviously it's just, just the back of trucks. This is America Truck Simulator Train DLC. Yes, please. All right, there we go. We're going to be late now. It's just there's no way about it. This is going to this is going to destroy the score. I just I there's knackering it and then there's me just doing what I just did and oh there. Oh there. And there is no, once I did that there was no way of recovering what had just happened. Absolutely no way. Look at all these loco stable around. That's fun. This looks this looks really cool actually. This looks really cool indeed. Let's see if we can't capture this moment and pretend that nothing went wrong. I think that's the best thing you can do in life, is just pretend every No, don't pretend everything's fine. Face what you have to, but other than that, we'll just ignore that any of that ever happened. Right, okay. I'm going really slowly. I'm just I'm just adding I'm just adding the salt right now by going even slower. It's just the salt is just going into the wound and it's just gonna sting so much when I get to the end here. I need to speed back up. But I don't I've got a terrible. If that light's red, I don't want to cause any problems. I just want to. I want to be able to stop. That's, is the light red at the end of this thing? Probably is. Oh, it's yellow and red. There we go. Welcome to Confusion Simulator 2016, where today I'm going to be driving towards it and 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 and, and crying. There we go. There we are. There we are. We have arrived at Keddy Lower Track One. It's been one heck of a journey over the past few months across this line. I have enjoyed it. It's a very nice line, and it takes a very long time to drive, but it's been an enjoyable time nonetheless. So, there we go. There we go, indeed. Right, here we go. We're coming to a nice stop here. Uh, the whole train's not going to fit on, so where we stop, it doesn't really matter. I'll just let the train come to a stop by itself, actually, unless we're about to cross this signal, which we might. We might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. Now, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, let's just stop it there, shall we? The brakes work. The brakes working? No. <laughs> okay. What? It's not. It's not on. Oh, they are working. It's just not showing anymore. I've knackered the train completely with PCS. But we have arrived at Keddy Lower Track One. We are four minutes late. The score is going to be absolutely atrocious. But I think the banter has been had today. And the Feather River Canyon has definitely been an, enjoy an enjoyable experience. I'm looking forward to driving it on again, on it again in the future. So there we go, indeed. The train's rolling backwards. <laughs> Hang on. 
Oh, and time this penalty. 849. I can live with 849. That is not too bad. Good job, Engineer. Another crew will be taking your freight train onto its final destination. Let's see how I did. Well, I got 849. A bit of a kerfuffle at the end there that kind of nearly ruined the day. But I think I did very well indeed. I hope I have I hope you have enjoyed this this Feather of a Canyon run over the past few months. I certainly have. I certainly have indeed. But for now, thank you very much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. There we go. Well, hello. Oh, no. It looks so bad. No. Hey. Hello, Yoda. Oh, he's all sad. He's all sad. No. It's all lost. It's all lost. It's over. Hey, look. We can ask those guys. Let's go and ask those guys. What could possibly go wrong? Come on. No. They are bad guys. They are bad guys indeed. Right, here we go.